And don't forget that WEYW and 104.9 The X are sponsoring a Christmas decorating competition. We are looking for the most creative home in South Florida. You just need to send photos of the outside of your home to the email address that you see on the bottom of the screen. The winner will receive a two-night stay at the beautiful Key Lime Sailing Club and Cottages. All right, before we go today, I'm going to feature a local author here in the Keys. She's just released her first book entitled Confessions of a Catholic School Dropout. Patty, it is wonderful having you here this Thank morning. Thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Your title is very interesting to this book, so I imagine that your book is also very interesting. Well, I hope people find it interesting. Um, I was raised in a very strict Irish Catholic home. My parents didn't drink, but my godparents more than made up for it. <laughs> and um, my, god, my, my parents had four boys, mm -hmm. which is what they always wanted. They were perfectly happy. Unfortunately, one of my brothers passed away, mm -hmm. which if he hadn't, I probably wouldn't be here. Um, so after a couple of years, my parents decided to have another boy to make their, their family complete again. Mm -hmm. But they got me instead. <laughs> And I was named after one of my father's brothers. Mm -hmm. And he was so distraught, the story goes, at having a niece as a namesake instead of a nephew that he went on a several day bender and showed up at my baptism completely schnockered. <laughs> Somehow they managed to get through the baptism and um, without any problems. And then back to my parents' house for the reception. And my godmother was holding me my godfather was standing next to her, and they were arguing about how ugly I was. Oh, <laughs> he was so no. unhappy about having a girl. <laughs> and while they were arguing, he had a heart attack and died right there. You're not making this no, up, are you? No, no. And so for my entire childhood, I was blamed for having killed and taken a good man from this earth. And even in school, I, I went to a Catholic school that was taught by the most awful nuns you can imagine. They were big, burly, hairy women. They were like lumberjacks. <laughs> they were very facial hair. They, they could have been men, but they were in dresses. And even they would remind me when I did something wrong, you know, not only did you kill your poor godfather, now you've done this other horrible thing. And with the exception of one nun, there was a nun named Sister Mary Margaret who mm -hmm. was the sweetest, most wonderful person in the world, and I mm -hmm. wanted to be just like her. I wanted mm -hmm. to be a nun. Mm -hmm. So I stole a missalette from church. A uh, missalette is a, it's like a book with all the prayers that are said during Mass mm -hmm. so that I could say Mass at home. And she was preparing us, she was our second grade teacher, she was preparing us for the sacrament of Holy Communion. Mm -hmm. And it's a really big deal for a Catholic kid at that age, you know, it's a, it's a big deal. So she was explaining to us the importance of it, and she was saying, when you take communion, you take in God's grace, you become more like God. And I thought, oh, I'm going to be God-like, so that means I'll be able to perform miracles, and, you know, maybe I can bring back my Uncle Patrick, right? The timing would be perfect. I killed him during my first sacrament, baptism. I'll bring him back during the second one. So the big day came and I was in my, you know, my communion gown that my mom had made. And I went up to communion and got my Jesus cookie, which tasted nothing like I had expected. It was mm -hmm. dry and like cardboard. And so I'm back in my pew and thinking, okay, now I'm full of God's grace. I have powers. And in the pew in front of me was this boy named Stevie Hayes, who was just a horrible child who I just didn't like. So I tried to do the Samantha Stevens, you know, bewitched, wiggle my nose to make his pants drop, and that didn't work. I tried the, no, that didn't work. So I said, Dad, can I go back up to communion? I, I want some more, <laughs> thinking that, you know, this was going to give me some sort of powers. Obviously, I misunderstood the whole thing. You had faith, though, Patty. I'm I impressed did. by the faith you had. I did. <laughs> and I tried. It probably took me um, two years to figure this out, mm -hmm. by which time we were making our first confession. Mm -hmm. And that's actually one of the things I confessed, that I, I started asking my parents to take me to Mass more than just Sunday. Mm -hmm. 
not because I was devoted and wanted to, you know, worship. I just wanted more <laughs> communion so I could have powers. <laughs> and that's one of the things that I confessed, that I was really only coming to church to eat communion and, and get power. So you share these confessions and so many more in this book. Patty, you have lived an interesting life, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, you did not kill your uncle, okay? Oh, I know that. <laughs> I know that. And it, you know, the book really is about going to church doesn't make you a good person any more than, you know, floating out there makes you a boat. Mm -hmm. It really is. That's not what makes people good. Yeah. And this book, um, is my last confession. There will be no more confessing on my part. <laughs> well, I hope everybody can pick up a copy of this book. Patty, I'm intrigued. I'm going to get a copy of Thank this book. Thank you. It's so. available at Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. And if people want more information, they can just check out the information that you see on the bottom of the screen right now. Again, Patty, I look forward to this book and, and hearing all of these confessions that I can only imagine what they're all about. Well, thank so. you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for being on this morning. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in with me today. I hope you can join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.